Someone who uh, has a different point of view, though, uh, is joining us for today's papers, Simon Breeny, Director of Policy at the Institute of Public Affairs and former President of the Young Liberals, but still a member of the party. Simon, good morning. Good morning to you both. You morning. feel very differently to Alastair Campbell. Uh, yeah, I've got a pretty uh, pretty different view on this. I think it's a terrific result for the British people. While you talk, let's bring up the front page of the Financial Review because we'll talk about that as well. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing. I think it's terrific that they're going to take back uh, power over a whole range of things, including the laws that apply to them. Rather than having Eurocrats in Brussels make these decisions on their behalf, they're actually going to make those decisions uh, at their own ballot box uh, themselves. And I think that's a wonderful thing, so uh, good on them. Uh, Malcolm Turnbull has used Brexit as a pitch for stability, he said. Uh, we need consistency, we need stability, we need certainty, uh, and that means giving us another go. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a good message and uh, it'll be interesting to see whether it resonates on July the 2nd, but certainly that's the pitch that he went for during the campaign launch yesterday in Sydney. I get uh, the points you're making about sovereignty and, and the British people, British Parliament making laws, but uh, don't you think this will be economically catastrophic? Well, it's clearly had a very, very significant impact on the financial markets, mm. uh, and that's very, very, very unfortunate. I mean, it's it's um, it, the pound obviously took a pounding, uh, and that was you know quite a quite a shock. Um, but I think that the the problem there is that financial markets failed to take into account properly the realistic probability of a Brexit vote actually going forward. Yep. Um, the political elite was wrong on this, both Labor and Conservative leaders were wrong on it. Uh, a whole range of, uh, of, of people who thought they knew what was going to happen were wrong. Uh, and uh, this, is, this is unfortunately what happens when um, financial markets make a bet and they, they lose. They bet on uh, remain and, and that wasn't the, the result. Um, it's very, very unfortunate, but um, I hope that this allows them to make a better decision next time and to say, well, maybe the polling, having, got, having gotten it wrong twice now during the general election and now during the Brexit vote, uh, is something that we might be a bit more wary of.